Hey, what up, boys? So the hype for Alpha 2 continues to grow as patches roll out and improvements are made across the board. Even the lack of content fails to deter people's excitement for the game as Stephen J. Sharif steps in to provide communities with events to participate in. But before we get into that, sit back, relax, and grab yourself a... Kyopakyola because Steven faced off against the Lineth server in an attempt to take our precious node, but we pushed him back, resulting in an epic multi-hour battle against him. You are about to witness one of the most epic moments in Alpha 2 so far as Lineth and Steven J. Sharif duke it out in the battle for Winstead. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? I've like slowed down enough to spend time in the node, but I am looking forward to AFK vibing. Uh, is there anything Mind coming on. instead? What? Steven just putting up a message. Yeah, saying yeah, that... yeah. He's gonna fucking drop a nuke on us or some so stupid shit. Oh look, the snow's melting. Is it? The snow's melting. Look here. So you have gathered your shadows, massed in defiance of the light everlasting and wind sets. The skin. That's kind of cool in itself. Oh, there's a monster coming. What the fuck is that? You strike with all the darkness you can muster, yet I remain unscathed, untouched by shadow or steel. Your efforts are as fleeting as a candle's flame before a roaring inferno. You bastard. Your attacks pass over me like whispers in a storm, powerless and forgotten. Even if you gather twice this number of Dark Souls, their combined power would still pale before the Eternal Flame. Your shadows are but fleeting wisps, and no assembly of darkness, no matter how vast, can ever hope to snuff out the light of creation itself. He really is just fucking, like, masturbating to himself right now. No matter how much he paid that narc he couldn't do that. He just teleported away. But he's yeah. gone. He TP'd back to Carver. Demons of chaos, and test your metal against the unyielding flame. Unleash your wildest fury, and I shall meet it with the blaze of creation's dawn. Step forward, if you dare, and witness the might of the eternal flame. Crush the Dawnbringer! 
My flame will rise again and again, an unbreakable promise that darkness can never conquer the light. I am the dawn eternal, the fire everlasting, and no shadow shall prevail against my brilliance. Know this, I shall vanquish the void and all who dwell within its hollow embrace. My flames will pierce the deepest shadows and consume the emptiness that seeks to devour this world. I am the flame that gives birth to the world, the light that illuminates all truths. My power shall rend the very fabric of the dark, banishing the chaos and sealing it with the fire that forged the cosmos. <laughs> For my fire shall consume the void, turning the emptiness into a canvas of creation. With each beat of my divine essence, your chaos will falter, your emptiness will rupture, and the abyss will be filled the vibrant light of existence. Right, right, we must, but your efforts are as futile as trying to cage the sun. My essence is everlasting, unyielding, and beyond the grasp of mortal or immortal hands. Though my flame may have been extinguished in this moment, do not rejoice too soon, creatures of shadow and darkness. For I am Vyra the Dawnfire, and my essence is bound to the cycle of creation itself. Oh fuck. Steven! Steven, I've cut the beard off! Steven, I've cut the beard off! If he says you look like a thumb moldy, I swear to god. Steven, you need to go to the gym, mate. You're right. Why are you shirtless, man? That's, that's a little bit weird. Where's your shirt, dude? You good? Do you need me to take my shirt off too? I mean, I can. If that's what you're into. I don't think you bent that way, though. Oh shit. Behold, the brave mortal who wagered with the eternal flame and now stands before me, shorn and humbled. Your beard has paid the ultimate price for your misdeeds. And I must say, the sacrifice was almost worth the laughter it brings. You motherfucker. It was that you owe me two levels minimum, bro. Two levels for the beard minimum. That's my lowest price. 
you don't really you destroyed the my brand you don't realize the the impact it's do you know what the youtube comments are gonna say do you know what the youtube comment in the last video was it was saying why am i so bold do you know what they're gonna say now they're gonna say why are you so fat i have to deal with that and it's gonna be the top upvoted comment with hundreds of upvotes you tempt fate again, mortal? Have you not learned from your last defeat when the eternal flame claimed your precious beard as tribute? It seems you are eager to challenge destiny once more, but beware. Fate does not always show mercy, and it may not be so kind with my victory over you. I mean, come on, it's a fair price, isn't it? Look at me. Look at me. Look what you've done to me. That's two levels minimum, at least. Come on. Look at the state of me, mate. Do you know how many people have come in and called me Wilson Fisk? Fucking Nintendo 64 Golden Eye NPCs and shit like that. It's been terrible, bro. Fat and bold, <laughs> are you? <laughs> well, mortal, it seems you now resemble a pig's bare buttocks. Smooth and rosy for all to see. Perhaps your wager cost you not only your beard, but also the last semblance of dignity you had. But worry not, I'm sure even the piglets would be amused by your new unbearded visage. Holy shit, he pre-script this shit. You pre-scripted all of this, sat there in your little chair watching the stream going, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pre-scripted all this, motherfucker. Damn it, Steven, man. I'm freaked out by the fact that you've got your shirt off as well. What was the premeditation of removing your shirt? Like, explain that to me, man. Ah, mortal. You challenge the notion that a god should need to script their words? Indeed, the flame of dignity does not require careful planning. For my utterances what a word can anyone google that one for me are forged in the fire of inspiration radiant and ever flowing still even a goddess like vira the dawnfire may choose to shape her speech with purpose lest her words burn too brightly or too fiercely listen Minimum price, two levels, uh, right? That's low as I'm willing to go, Steven. Two, two levels. Look, look at me. You've just called me a suckling pig or something. What did you say? You did this to me. Now don't D-level me. No, plus two, plus two, plus two, not minus two. Plus two, I've just been grinding all goddamn day. Do you not know the tales of the radiance of the ducklings of Vera? Even they, with their gentle and brilliant light, would quack in laughter at your misfortune. You wagered against the eternal flame and paid the price, left bare and humble. Consider yourself fortunate that only your beard was sacrificed, for even the ducklings themselves would agree. Challenging a goddess comes with consequences, and you should tread lightly before tempting fate again. There's a duckling over there, bro. Oh, shit. You've got more duckling models than you've got racial node aesthetics. Look at this shit, bro. In light of your recent loss of that which was precious, your noble beard sacrificed to wager a war you could not win, even though it was rigged, I shall grant you an opportunity to redeem yourself. Consider this a chance to reclaim some semblance of your former dignity. But be warned, mortal, should you fail again, the consequences may leave you even more humble than before. Will you accept this offer and dare to challenge fate once more? I accept. Has got, I've got a channel. It's got to do a channel. What's it going to make me do? Get on my knees. What have I got to do? Get on my fucking knees. All right. Well, put down a pillow then. I'll, I'll kneel down on the pillow. I am a bond unbroken. A vow made clear. A whisper of hope that many hold dear. A weather storm and trials long. Built on truth unwavering strong. With faith in time and trust well placed. I light the path that can't be erased. What the fuck are you? I don't fucking know, mate. Um, Zango, maybe? I don't know, bruv. 
a promise. It's, it's, it's a promise. I don't actually know the answer, Stephen. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely low IQ. Yes, it was right. It was true. Yes, yes, we got it. We got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. It wasn't Zango. It wasn't Zango. You have spoken truth, mortal. The promise of ashes, a light that shall come to pass when the dawn rises once again. Once more, you have answered correctly. And in doing so, you honor the bond of faith and the truth that guides us all. Hold steadfast to this promise, for even in darkness, the dawn fire is ever waiting to ignite anew. Oh shit, bro. He's fucking RPing out the wazoo right now. Look at him go. I am moved by your wisdom and faith. I mean, that's the first time anyone's ever said that to me ever. And so I offer you a rare gift. I will grant you a a single desire, a wish shaped by the fire of creation itself. Speak now and let your heart's deepest longing be known, but choose wisely for the eternal fame does not grant blessings lightly. Change my character into a female Renkai. <laughs> and the thing is the models probably don't exist. So that's just not, that's just not possible. Oh shit. Whoa, what the fuck? I saw that. G clip, clip that shit. Clip that shit. Yo, hey, that's the fucking male. What the hell? Jump. Wait, go back to the female and jump. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's a male. Okay, what about this? Is it possible to turn me into a female Renkai? Or have the gods not deemed them worthy to step upon the soils of Vera yet? The Renkai, with their unbreakable spirit and bond to the essence of faith, require true belief, a faith that you have not yet fully embraced. He's not wrong there. But you do, do not despair, mortal. Through practice and deep introspection, you can cultivate this faith in time. Seek the light within. Nurture your understanding, and one day you may stand among the faithful, strong, and unwavering as the Renkai themselves. They're not quite ready yet, then. I'm gonna be honest, mate. I ain't got no desires or anything. I want everyone else to get something instead. You have answered with wisdom, mortal. Portal. And your words have proven your worth before the eternal flame. As such, I shall bestow a blessing upon you. A gift born of creation's light. May this blessing guide you and protect you, illuminate your path, and granting you strength as you journey forth. Thank you, God Speaker. He's trading me, bro. A whisk well. A glimmering geode. Yo! Plus what? Plus two mounts. These gifts are radiant. Thank you. Again, God speaker. Go now, mortal. Remember, always walk in the light. Hope is a flame that never truly dies, and it will always burn brighter than despair. No matter how deep the darkness, carry this truth with you, and shall it strengthen your heart in the trials to come. May the eternal flame watch over you. And may you always find your way back to dawn. Yeah, I can stand it. I'm getting paid to stand here, Steven, so I could do this all night. So if you want to just res me and then give me level 15, yeah, that, that would be that would be pog, right? That would be pog. Stop spa stop spawning ducklings. He's just gonna spawn infinite ducklings until I crash. <laughs> Steven, I've got a 10 grand PC, mate. It's, uh, ducklings aren't gonna make me crash. Create duckling. <laughs> Create duckling, create duckling, create duckling. Plus one RP. Yo, hey. Game's a scam. Oh, it's, you know, the game's a scam.